There was a certain day in the human calendar where things too big to fit in a garbage can could be left on the street. This meant everyone saw what each other was throwing out, which also meant one person's trash could very well be another person's or even a cat's treasure. This, as it transpired, came down to a bit of luck. <laughs> But it was a present from me to you, Olive. Only a fool would give me such a thing. I have enough beady little cat eyes staring at me all day as it is without having more in the house, let alone waving at me. You exaggerate, dearest. What is going on? Only the single greatest day of the year, Hard Rubbish Day. Mr. Clean, isn't the idea to get rid of rubbish, not get more of it? Oh, is that our new refrigerator that somehow disappeared last year? And our record player that, like, mysteriously went finito a year ago. Not to mention the kitchen sink, which has meant we are washing in a bucket for the last 12 months. Yes, yes, and yes. Hard Rubbish Day doesn't work unless you contribute your fair share. What goes around comes around, and often with unforeseen benefits. Yeah. So you have been throwing out our new things so that you can get them back years later when they are junk? That is the plan. Plan? What sort of plan is that? A good one, Ming. I am with Mr. Clean here. Huh? Planning for the future is what sets us cats apart from humans. Uh, no offense, Kitty. This is ridiculous. Look, Kitty's got the right idea. I think the idea is we take the trash out, not bring it inside. Unless they were very important household items that should never have been thrown away in the first place. Oh, wait a second. That's a maneki neko, which is Japanese for beckoning cat. And some humans believe that as long as it's waving, it brings good luck. Which is why I always avoid doing this to humans. That's ridiculous. Whoever hoid a cat having anything to do with luck? Oh, you would be surprised what the feeble human mind believes, Cheetah. To them, cats have long been associated with luck, good and bad. Let me tell you about it. No, no. 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 We've got it. So, according to humans, if having this thing brings good luck, wouldn't throwing it away bring bad luck? No, no, no. A human might think so, but we cats know. Oh, just my luck. That's a coincidence. Coincidence or not, this is comedy gold. <laughs> oh no! It's the lady neighbor now! <sighs> this does not look good. How is that even possible? That is the literal definition of bad luck. Actually, you know, being attacked by birds and then physically lifting you in the air and flying you around is super common. Really? Oh, yeah, of course not, right? Come on, Tubby. You've got to admit it really does seem like they're having some particularly bad luck. No, I won't admit! What do you know? Show's not over! <laughs> <laughs> Bees, 
honey. Now if a bear shows up, I'm done. This is too much. <laughs> You called it. Well done. Uh... Oh, Tubby, come on. The neighbours are having impossibly bad luck since they tossed away that cat statue. Bah, ridiculous human nonsense. It's a big old coincidence. If it wasn't, then where is our good luck? <coughs> what are you all staring at? Oh, for being in the right place at the right time, we won a car and this novelty check, which I'm throwing out because it's too big for my purse. Now for tonight's $50 million lottery draw. Hey, the $50 million lottery draw. number is Whoa. one. Whoa, one. That's my number. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Oh, three. Oh, no. Five. No. Five. Six, and six, seven. Seven. Oh, wow. I got them all. Every single number. Woohoo! Aren't you supposed to do something with the ticket when you win? What? Nah, it's just the thrill of winning. I'm absolutely sure you meant to do what I just did. Look at what was just delivered. They couldn't ride any further through that storm next door, so gave it to us. Yum! How's that for lucky, eh? Hey? <laughs> oh, I don't like the rain. Mayday! Mayday! We need to drop the gear! Let the thief drop the gear! Kitty, look! What is that? the instruments of the Mortadella Maestros. We are so lucky. <laughs> oh, yes, we are so lucky. Not. This is silly. That Mickey Brecco is silly. Hey, I just got off the phone. The Mortadella Maestros have lost their instruments, so we have been asked to replace them and perform on the Tomorrow Show with Shirley Sherbert. Wow. Whoa! How lucky is that? Aren't I a lucky duck? I cannot believe this luck. Later that night, King Tubby decided this luck thing needed to be sorted once and for all. He was determined to prove there was no such thing. I'll take this back and nothing will change and that will prove my point. And that concludes our episode of Escape Bears Do the Darndest Things. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Just a coincidence. True. It is luck and we're never going to get our lucky charm back! Hey, you said we didn't need that cat statue. Well, it is very stormy outside and there's a family of bats living in my room and a tree fell on the shed and that new car is missing. Oh, okay, right. We need the cat statue. Yes, we do. Not you again. Search a uh, mini wobbly arm cat thingy. Oh, wait, click on that ad for flattering sweaters. Cheetah, we just need to find a replacement, Maneki Neko. What? Wow. I don't have a Maleki Gecko, but I do have this little wavy cat thingy. Found it in the ever expanding hard rubbish, like everything good. Well, thank you, Mr. Clean. I must say, that is good luck. <laughs> it's not luck, it's down to forward planning. Out with the TV, in with the Manny Geeko cat wavy thing. 
What? Well, Kitty, maybe if a little statue makes someone feel luckier, then that's lucky for them. And I'd rather hold on to it just in case. And so Kitty learned that luck is what you make of it. And if the neighbors didn't want their good luck back, Kitty and the cats were happy to keep it. <laughs>